And now, I'd like to introduce our presenter and her company. Anne Marie and her company, Complete Approval Wireless Service, is a company that has been existing for more than years and based in Nigeria, precisely in Abuja, the capital city. They help manufacture of telecommunication equipment to obtain type approval certificates in all African countries and are very effective and experienced in the countries they cover, providing any information freely whenever required. They have very affordable prices for each country and only receive the payment from their clients after they present the final certificate, which marks their difference. They work in hand with local partners, with legal partners, excuse me, who they call local representatives in countries need and see to their best that they satisfy their clients as that that is their greatest pleasure. So without further ado, let's turn our attention to African compliance with Anne Marie. Hi Anne, how are you doing today? Thank you, Kim. I hope you're doing well. I am. Um, thank you for joining us, and especially with the time difference. I really appreciate this. You're welcome, and I hope my voice is loud and clear, and everyone can hear me. Sounds good on my end. Okay. We can start? All right. A very warm um, evening on my side, because it's evening. I wish you good morning wherever you are, and thank you so much for taking this opportunity to join us on um on this little presentation that we're going to do. I'm not going to take much time, but I'm going to try to be quick and attend to everything. So um, as mentioned, we are based in Africa. I am Anne. I work at Complete Approval Wireless Services as the director. And we are based in Nigeria, in Abuja specifically. Uh, Kim, I think you have uh, passed the first slot on African compliance. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're going to start here introducing on our introduction. As we all know, Africa is the second largest continent located to the south of Europe and bordered to the west by the South Atlantic and to the east by the Indian Ocean with a number of 54 countries and a global population of one billion three hundred and forty seven million and three thousand uh, three hundred and thirty three thousand and four based on the latest United Nations estimate Africa population is equivalent to sixteen point seventy two percent of the total world population and in the whole fifty four countries the number of um, countries with telecom regulatory agencies is about forty eight and in those forty eight countries the approval certification is mandatory, and then in six countries where it's voluntary. And we have an, an approximate consultant of 20 to 30. Next, Kim. Africa is a continent still developing that has 48 countries that require type approval. Due to its large population, the, cons the consumption of telecom equipment is increasing daily. Several manufacturers and laboratories have found, found a large marketing market in Africa, leading to why in most of the countries there are the regulation agencies that help on the legal type approval certificate issuance for the radio electronics. Below we have detailed the procedure of the type approval in every country. Next. Okay, we are going to start. Here is... Um, more information on the details. This is concerning Algeria. Algeria is slightly different. The type of approval procedure in, in Algeria is a little bit different than other countries. So below, Article 7, which details the condition and the documents to, to present for the homologation. The authorization request file must contain the following documents if you want to obtain type of approval in Algeria a request addressed to the Director General of the Regulatory Authority, a letter of commitment according to a model established by the Regulatory Authority, also downloadable from the website of the Regulatory Authority, an information sheet according to the model established by the Regulatory Authority, also download, downloadable from the website 
of the regulatory authority. The authorization request file must be sealed with the regulatory authority against issuance of an acknowledgement of receipt. Next, please. Further information. A copy of the article of association in the case of legal person, the detailed architecture of the infrastructure, the model of connection, and the specifying in particular the type of equipment, the total storage capacity, and the associated software. Detailed description of the plan service specifying the conditions and the various develop development models planned in particular, the processes, the identifying customer. A copy of the legal representative's identity document. A designation of the person in charge of the contact with the regulatory authority specifying his contact details. A criminal record for the natural person. Payment of file management fee. A description of the premises housing the infrastructure, surface area, power supply, air conditioning, security, etc. Next, please. And on, in this table here, we've detailed as much information as we can concerning Algeria. Like I said, the above, um, Algeria is a little bit different from other countries when you want to obtain type approval. So we have the presentation of the country, we have the general information, Algeria is located in the northern part of Africa with a population of 42.23 million. This is a French-speaking country. Going down to the type of procedure, the agency name for Algeria is Authority for Regulation of Post and Telecommunication. In short, it's ARPT. And the website is www.arpt.gz. And local representative is needed for um, this process. And the lead time, we have, with our experience, if you see in the lead time, we have the theoretical lead time and the experimental lead time. So the normal lead time for Algeria is about six to eight weeks. But due to our experience, sometimes we've managed to uh, finish, um, get the type of approval certificate, certification before, before six to eight weeks. So when I've written experimented, that is the lead time, the period that we've managed to get before uh, the normal lead time from the agency. And um, a sample is required, and you require a conducted sample for this. The validity of the certification is three years, and after three years, you have to get a renewal certification for your equipment. And the, documented that the documentation required, you have the FCC, you need the FCC or the CECS report. You need the RF, which is the radio frequency, uh, and then you need the document, and then you need a level of authorization that is also required. Can you go to the next? Okay, thank you. We go to Angola. Angola is situated in Central Africa with a population of 40.23 million. Angola is a, also a French country. I'm sorry. What am I? Mm. Sorry, uh, just give me a couple of minutes. Somehow. Okay. I'm going to do with my. Uh, I'm going to do it mine because I think there's some mix up in the presentation. But is it possible? Uh, Kim, can I work with mine? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and then I think we're going to, we can correct afterwards because I see some of you mistakes. So I can work with mine. Okay, did you want to upload or you want to just speak from yours but I still show these slides? Okay, show the slides. I'll still, I'll, I'll still speak from my side. And since we're going to, uh, you're going to have it sent to people, we'll just correct it later on together. Okay, and then we'll send that one out, the corrected okay. one. All right, thank you so much for understanding. Thank no, you. you're very welcome. So we're going to go, move on to Angola. Angola is located in uh, West Africa with a population of 30, 30 million. Angola is a uh, Angola, sorry, is located in Central Africa with a population of 30 million. Angola is a 
it, the, the language that's spoken in Angola is Portuguese and English, and the agency name is called INACOM, and the website for this um, country is www.inacom.org.au. And then a local representative is needed for this country. The lead time usually is three to four weeks. Experimental, from what we've experimented, we do cover this in about two weeks. And then uh, the requirements for this, you need a letter of request addressed to the CEO of Inacom. And then you do not need a sample. The validity of, um, of Angola is one year. So after a year, you have to get uh, another renewal certification. And obviously, the, the uh, documents required is also the FCC, the CE, the test report, and you need the RF, and then the DOC, and then the LOA for Angola also. Uh, can we move to the next slide? Okay. Benin, when we talk about Benin, Benin is, is located in Western Africa. Benin is located in Western Africa with a population of 13 million. And the language spoken is French. And the agency name is Autorité de Régulation des Communications Électroniques et de la Poste with the shortcut of ARCET, and the website is www.arcet.bj. You need a representative for this. You need your local representative for Benin. And the lead time is usually three to four weeks, and in ex our experimented times, and sometimes we get it in before that. We can get it in three weeks, we can get it in two weeks. And the requirement is that this one, you need an online application. So you apply directly, I'm going to try and speak, uh, explain a little bit on this. You apply directly on online application where you can follow your, uh, you can follow the, process, the processes and you can follow up to your project. But then when it comes to the payment, you have to have a local representative because sometimes the transfer, the bank transfer, sometimes we have problems. So that is why we... Uh, we actually found a local representative that we actually send money to and does the payment to cut down the, the, the long period of bank transfer. Sometimes the transfer even bounces back. And then the validity for this is five years. So after five years, you have to, um, you have to get another one for renewal your, your certification. And the documents required is the FCC, the CE, the test report, and the RF and the DOC and then the LOA that is required also. We can move to the next slide, please. We need to move to Botswana. Botswana is located in Southern Africa with a population of two million. And they speak English and their local language, Setswana. And the agency name for Botswana is Botswana Telecommunication Authority. In short, that is Bokra. The website is www.bokra.org.bw. Um, you don't need, you, well, rep, local representative is not mandatory, but um, since the application is also done online, so usually we have a local represent, a representative that follows up on our files to make it faster and speedy. Because sometimes when you write to the agency directly, the agency takes time to respond. So that's why we prefer in such countries to have our local representative that follows up on our, on our project. And no sample is required. And the validity for the certification, the certificate is permanent. That means um, you can use it for life. And when you want to get another certification for another model, that's when you make another application. And the documents required is the FCC, the FCE test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LO. We can move to the next one, Burundi. Moving on to Burundi. Burundi is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 12 million. And the language spoken in Burundi is English. And type of proof of, uh, the type of proof of procedure, the agency name is Agence de Régulation de Contrôle et Télécommunication, which is R R A R C T. And um, the website is www.arct.file. You don't need a, a, a local representative for Burundi. The lead time is four to six weeks. 
that is um, the theoretical lead time and then the experimental lead time is five weeks. Um, there are no specific requirement needed for this. Uh, you do need a sample and that is a conducted sample and the validity for the certification is five years and uh, the documents needed is five C uh, the FCC, um, the CE. So if you have the FCC, you can still use it. And if you have the CE, you can still use it instead of the FCC. And then you have the test report that is needed, the RF that is needed, the talk that is needed, and then the LOA that is needed for, um, for Burundi also. Moving to the next slot, uh, Burkina Faso. We move to Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is located in um, Western Africa with a population of 21 million. Um, and the language spoken in Burkina Faso is French. And the agency name is Autorité de Régulation des Communications Électroniques et des Postes, which is ARCEC in short. And the website is www.arcec.es. Yes, you need a local representative for this, and the theoretical lead time is three to four weeks, and the experimental lead time usually is three weeks for us. Um, there are no natural um, um, basic requirements for this. No sample is needed. The validity of the certification is five, five years. So after five years, you have to get your renewal for the normal um, type of uh, equipment, and the documents that required and still, instead of the FCC, if you have the CE, you can go ahead with that. The test reports, the RF, the DOC, the LOA, um, etc., that is required for Burundi. We're moving on to Cameroon. Okay, moving on to Cameroon. Cameroon is located in Central Africa. The population is 21 million. The language spoken in Cameroon is French and English also. The agency name is Agence de Régulation des Télécommunications, that is ART, R -A -R -T. And then the website is www.art.com. Yes, you need a, rep a local representative in Cameroon. And the experiment, ex uh, the, the theoretical lead time for Cameroon is usually um, 10 to 11 weeks, but then according to our experiments, and since we also have um, our local representative that is there, we usually go to nine, nine from nine to 10 weeks from our experimental lead time. And then uh, you need samples, yes. For samples, for small equipment for Cameroon, you need about three samples, but if there's a large equipment, it's just one sample, and that is mandatory actually, and the samples are not sent back to clients, it stays in the agency. And the validity for Cameroon is three years. So after three years, you have to renew your certificate. And the document that is required is the FCC, the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LOA that is needed. That is the letter of authorization that is needed. We move on to Cap Vert. The position is it's Positioned in Western Africa with a population of 5,000 and 49,000 people. Uh, it's a small country with a small population. And the language spoken is Cap Verde. That is the language spoken. The agency name is a National Communication Agency, which is ANAC. -A and the website is www.anac.tv. You need a, a local representative for this one, also for this country. And the theoretical lead time is four to five weeks, and then the experimental lead time for us is about four weeks. No special requirement that is needed for this country. And then you do not need a sample and the certificate when you get it. The validity is permanent, that means for life. So you can use it. And then the document required is the FCC, the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and then the letter of authorization as usual also for the country. We move on to the next country. Moving on to the next country, Central Africa. Central Africa is located in Central Africa with a population of 4.9 million, and the country uh, speaks French, and the type of approval procedure, the agency name is the agency name 
is agence chargée de la régulation des télécommunications, that is ARC. And then the website is www.arcrca.org. And the local representative, yes, you need it. The lead time is about, the theoretical lead time is five to six weeks. And then the experimental lead time for us is five, uh, four to six to five weeks, sorry. The required, um, the required, you do, they're not a uh, specific requirement for this country, an easy country. No sample is needed. The validity is five years. And the document that is required is the FCC. The FCC is required and the CE. And then you need the test report. And you need the test report, sorry about that. You need the test report, um, the RF, the DOC, and then the LOAETC. That is needed for uh, this country. And then we'll move on to Comoros. All right, so we have, I think we have a slight problem on this presentation. We are going to correct it later like I, uh, ex we explained with uh, Kim. And meanwhile, just using on my side, and everyone will have the correct copy after this meeting. Thank you for being with us. And uh, we continue with Comoros. Comoros is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 869,601 persons, people. And the country speaks French. The agency name is Authority Nationale, Nationale de Régulation. That is A N R T I C, and the website is www.anrtic.com.km. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The theoretical lead time for this country is three to four weeks, and then the experimental lead time is usually three weeks for us. You do not need a sample for this. The validity of the certification is five years. The document required is the FCC, the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LOA that is required, the letter of authorization that is required for this country. We move on going to Djibouti. Djibouti is located in Eastern Africa also with a population of 999,042 people population. The language spoken is French, and the agency name is Ministère des Communications et de la Culture Chargée des Postes et des Télécommunications, Porte Parole de Gouvernement, which is MCCTT in short, and the website is www.mcctt.dj. Yes, you need a local representative for this country, and the theoretical Theoretical lead time is seven to eight weeks, and then the experimental lead time is seven weeks. No special requirement needed for this. No sample is needed. The validity is still five years, and the documents the documents required is FCC. You need the CE report. You need the test report. You need the RF document, and then the LOA that is required for this country. We move on to demo to the next one, please. Democratic Republic of Congo, which uh, is in Central Africa with a population of 84.7 million. The language spoken is French. And the agency name is Autorité de Régulation de la Poste et des Télécommunications du Congo, which is in short ARPTC. You need, uh, yes, a local representative representative is needed for this country. The lead time is three to four weeks. That is the theoretical lead time for this country. And the experimental lead time for us is two weeks because we have a um, strong representative and we have strong uh, connection from the agency. And then uh, the requirement, you need a letter of request addressed to the president of the agency. And yes, a sample is required for this, um, for this country. And here now, the validity for this country uh, depends on some few equipment. You have two 
to two or three and five years, depending on the type of equipment that you are type approving. So it depends on your uh, your equipment. That is when you will know that for this certain equipment about three years, and then for this certain equipment about uh, five years. And the documents needed is the FCC. You need the CEO. So if you have, you need to need that. The test report is needed. The RF is needed. The DOT is needed, and the LOA is needed for this. We move on to Ethiopia. Hi, Anne. Marie, you're doing great. Is it possible you could just speak up a little louder for me? All right. Okay. Is it, That's is that perfect. Loud okay. Oh, yes. I love it. Okay. Moving okay. to the next slide. Thank you. Thank you. Moving to Ethiopia. Now, Ethiopia is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 109.2 million. And this country speaks English. That is the language spoken in English. And the agency's name is Ethiopian Telecommunication Agency, which is ETA. The website is www.eta.gov.et. You don't need a local representative uh, from this country. You treat directly with the agency. The lead time is two weeks. That is the theoretical lead time is two to three weeks. But then um, our experimental lead time is usually one week because I personally have met with the president of um, Ethiopian Telecommunication Agency. So we've had, uh, we've created strong bonds. So we get that in the experimental time of one week. And then you don't need a sample for this. The validity is also five years for this equipment for um, the letters the certificate, and then the document required is FC, the FCC, you need the FCC, you need the CE report, you need the test report, you need the RF, you need your DOS, and you need your LOA equipment document also. That is the letter of authorization. We're moving on to Gabon. Okay, moving on to Gabon. Gabon is located in Western Africa with a population of 2.119 million. It's also a French-speaking country, and the agency name is Autorité des Régulations des Communications Électroniques et des Postes, that is Gabon. In short, it is ARCEP. And the website is www.arcep.ga. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The theoretical lead time for this country is three to four weeks, and the experimental lead time for us is three weeks. And no specific requirement needed. No sample is needed. The validity for the lead for the type approval for Gabon is 10 years. And the document required is if you don't have the FCC, you can use the CE report. You have the test report that is required, the RF that is required, the DOC that is required, the LOA that is required also. Um, that is for Gabon. We can move on to the next slot, that is Ghana. Going on to Ghana, Ghana is located in the Western Africa. Ghana population is 2.8 million. The English, uh, the English is the language that is spoken in this country. The agency name for uh, the agency name for Ghana is National Communication Authority, in short NCA, and the website is www.nca.org.gh. Yes, a local representative is needed in this country. The theoretical lead time is three to four weeks, and the experimental lead time for us is three weeks. So we, there are no specific requirements needed. No sample is needed. You have a validity of your um, type approval certification for three years. So after three years, you have to renew it. And the document required is the FCC. If you don't have the FCC, you can use a CE report. You need the test report. You need the RF, um, RF report. You need the DOC and the letter of authorization that is needed for Ghana also. We move on to Guinea. Now, if you see, Guinea is actually um, divided, I think, into three parts. So we have Guinea here. This is located in Western Africa. The population is 13.2 million. The country speaks French. The agency name is Autorité de Régulation de Postes et de Télécommunication, which is, in short, ARPT. The website is www.arpt.gov.gn. You need a representative? Yes, 
local representative is needed. The theoretical lead time for uh, Guinea is five to six weeks, and then the experimental lead time for us is five weeks. No specific requirement needed. Yes, a sample is required. That is a conducted sample that is required. The validity for the certification is also 10 years, and the documents required is the FCC. If you don't have the FCC, you can use the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the letter of authorization that is also needed. We're moving on to Guinea-Bissau. The Guinea-Bissau is located in Western Africa with a population of 1.10 million. The language spoken in Guinea-Bissau is Portuguese, and then the agency name is uh, Ministère des Télécommunications de Guinea-Bissau, which is ICGB in short, and then the website is www.icgb.org. The local representative, yes, you need one. The theoretical lead time is five to six weeks, and the next experimented lead time for us is exactly six weeks for us. Requirements, you don't need no specific requirements here. No sample is needed, and the validity is 10 years. And then the document requirement is you need the FCC. If you don't have the FCC, you can use the CE report, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LOA that is needed for uh, this country from the document. And then moving on to Guinea Equatorial, Equatorial of Guinea. It is located in Central Africa. The population for this country is 1.4 million. The language is spoken in this country. They speak Spanish, they speak Portuguese, and they speak French. Um, and the regulation, regulatory agency is actually in Portuguese. And I'm not, I don't speak Portuguese, but I'm going to try and uh, pronounce it. I think it's Organo Regulator de la Telecommunication. I don't know if I'm right, but that's the least I can do for this one here. And um, in short, it's O-R-T-E-L. And the website is www.ortel, guineaequatorial.org. And then the local representative, yes, it's needed. The lead time. The theoretical lead time is three to six weeks, and then the experimental lead time for us is five weeks. No specific requirement is needed in this country. No sample is needed in this country, and the validity for this country is five years. And we have uh, just the normal document requirements. You have the FCC, you have CE report that is needed if you don't have the FCC. The test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LO, the letter of authorization that is required for Guinea. We move on to Kenya. Kenya is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 53.7 million. The language spoken in Kenya is English. The language spoken in Kenya is, is English. And um, the agency name is Communication Commission of Kenya, that is CCK in short. And the website is www www.ck.org.k. Yes, you need a, re a local representative for this country, and the lead time for this country, the experimental, the, the theoretical lead time for this country is um, three to four weeks, and then the experimental, experimental, the experimental lead time for us here in this country is three weeks. No specific requirement that is needed. You do not need a sample for this. And uh, the validity, the first issue you a, a six month provisional uh, certificate. And then after six months, they issue you the permanent certificate. So, first in Kenya, they issue a six month provisional certificate for six months. And then after that, and then after that, they issue a permanent um, certification that is for life. And the documents needed is the FCC or the CE. And then you have the test report. And then you have the FR that is required, the doc that is required, and then the LOAT, that is the other document, that is a letter of authorization that is required. Moving on to Lesotho. Lesotho is located in Southern Africa with a population of 2.2 million. The English is, is English is the language spoken in Lesotho. Agency name is the Social Communication Authority, which is LCA. And then the website is www.lca.org.k. 
dot LS. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The lead time is three to four weeks. That is the theoretical lead time. And then the experimental lead time for us is three weeks. No, no specific requirement is needed for this country. No sample is required for this country. Your certificate is permanent. And the document that is required for uh, this country is the FCC, the CE, the test report, and then the RF, and then the DOC, and then the LOA that is required, the letter of authorization that is required. So basically, in every country where you require a, re a local representative, that is where you have to, um, to provide a letter of authorization to your local representative. So basically, that's it. We move on to Liberia. Liberia is located in Western Africa with a population of um, 4.8 million. It's an English-speaking country. The agency name is Liberia Telecommunication Authority. In short, that is the LTA. The website is www.lta.go.gov.le. And then you do not need a local representative for this country. The theoretical lead time is five to six weeks and then the experimental lead time for us is four weeks. And then the sample, you do not need a sample. And validity for the certification is, the, is 14 years. The documents required is the FCC, the CE, the test report, the RF, and the DOC for this country. So since this one you're treating with the agency right directly, you do not need a letter of authorization. We move on to, to Libby. Libya is a country located in northern Africa with a population of 6.7 million. It's an Arabic-speaking country, so they speak Arabic. And the type of the agency name is General Authority for Communication and Information, which is GACI in short. The website is www.cim.gov.lw. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The theoretical lead time is six to seven weeks, and yes, we maintain it that way. And then you do not need a sample for this country. You need uh, the validity of the certificate is for five years, and the documents required is FCC. You need the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the LOA, the letter of authorization, because you have a local representative. So that's why you need that. We move on to Madagascar. Madagascar is located in Eastern Africa. The population is 26.26 million, and it's a French-speaking country, so the language spoken is French. And then you have the, off the agency name is the Office Malgache d'Etudes et de Régulation des Télécommunications, which is, in short, called OMERT, and the website is www.omert.mg. You do not need a local representative for this. And the theoretical lead time for Madagascar is five to six weeks. And then the experimental lead time that we have treated with this country is four weeks. You do not need a sample for this. And the validity of the certificate is permanent. And the documents required is the FCC or you need the CE. You can have then the test report in the RF, the DOC, and then since there's no local representative, so you do not need the, lot, the letter of authorization. We move on to Malawi. Malawi is located in Eastern Africa. Population is 18.14 million. Malawi speaks English, so it's an English-speaking country. The agency name is Communication Regulatory Authority, in short, MACRA. And the website is www.macra.org. Macra.org.mw. Yes, you need a local representative in Malawi. And the lead time for Malawi is five to six weeks. And we have, uh, that is the theoretical lead time. And we have managed to treat Malawi. We have managed in our experimented lead time is four weeks because we actually have a company in Malawi. So we have another branch there and we've established good contact with the agency. And no sample is required for this country. Uh, validity of the certificate is five years, and then the document requirement is the FCC and the CE report. 
whichever which, which one you have, the test report, the RF, the talk and the letter of uh, authorization because you have a local representative, so you need that. We're moving on to Mali. Mali is located in Western Africa with population of 19.8 million. The language spoken in Mali is French, and the agency name is Autorité Malienne de Régulation des Télécommunications. That is the language spoken in, 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 I mean, that is the agency there in, in uh, Mali. And then the website is amrtp mali.com. And then the local representative, yes, is required. And the lead time is, uh, theoretical lead time is five to six weeks. And then the experimental lead time for us is five weeks. And then um, you do not require a sample for money. The validity of the certificate is 10 years. And the document required is the FCC, the CE. If you have FCC, you can use it. If you have the CE report, you can use it. And then you need the test report, the RF, and then the DOC, and then the letter of authorization because you have, you need a local representative to, um, to proceed with your approval application in this country. We'll move on to Mauritania. Moving on to Mauritania. The position of Mauritania is located in Western Africa. The population is 4.403 um, million. And then the language spoken is Arabic. The agency name, Authority de Regulation, that is R-A-R-E. -E. And then the website is www.are.mr. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The theoretical lead time is four weeks, three to four weeks, sorry. No specific requirements is needed. The sample, you do not need a sample. The, the, the certificate is valid. It is permanent. That certificate is permanent. And then the local representative requirement is the FCC. Sorry, the, lo the document requirement is the FCC. And then the CE, if you have it. And then the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the letter of authorization, because you have a local representative there, so you need that. Moving on to Mauritius. The position of Mauritius is located in Eastern Africa. Population is 1.265 million. The, the language spoken is English. Agency name is called Information Communication Technolo Technologies Authority of Mauritius, which is called in short ICTA, ICTA. And then you have the local representative. No, you don't need the local representative because this year you apply online, so you treat directly with the agency. And then the lead time for this is five to six weeks. Um, that is the tourist goal lead time. And sometimes in this country, um, one thing you should know about Mauritius, sometimes they pass the lead time because they're not quick in responding emails and they take their time. So basically sometimes you can arrive to seven weeks that is theoretically for this from our experiment. And then uh, no specific requirement needed. Um, no sample is required. The validity for the certificate is five years. And then the documents required, the FCC, the, or with the CE test report, the RF, the talk, and you don't need a letter of authorization because you don't need, um, you don't need, you don't need a local representative. We move on to Morocco. Morocco is positioned in Northern Africa with a population of 36.3 million. It is an Arabic country also, and they also speak French. And the agency name is Agence Nationale de Reglementation de Telecommunication, which is ANRT. And the website is www.anrt.net.ma. Um, the, you do need a local representative for this country, and the theoretical lead time is three to four weeks. That is it, and then no special requirement needed, no sample needed. The validity for this country is 10 years. The document requirement is FCC or the CE report, whichever you have. The test report, the RF report, the DOC, and then the letter of authorization because you have a local representative that needs to represent you in this country. Moving on to Mozambique. 
The position of Mozambique, Mozambique is located in Eastern Africa and the population is 29.5 million. Mozambique speaks English, so it's an English speaking country. That is the language they speak. And they also speak uh, Portuguese. And the agency name is, sorry because it's in Portuguese, so I'm gonna try and read it the best I can. Instituto Nacional de Comunicación de Mozambique. That is INCM, currently called on behalf of the ARCOM. That is the name. And then the website is www.arecom.gov.mz. And no local representative is needed. The lead time for uh, Mozambique is two to three weeks. That is the theoretical lead time. And then our experimental lead time for this country, this is the best country that we've experimented a lead time of one week because you have great contacts with the agency. Um, no sample is required and the certificate is valid. The validity of the certificate is permanent and the documents required is the FCC. You have, if you don't have the FCC, you can use the CE and then you need the test report and then the RF and then the DOC and then the letter of authorization that is also um, needed. Moving on to South Sudan. South Sudan is located in the north, in northern part of Africa, and the population in this country is 10.98 million, and the, this country speaks English, and the agency name is Ministry of Telecommunication and Postal Service, in short, MOTPS, and the website is www.motps.gov.org. Yes, you need a local representative in this country. The theoretical lead time for this country is six to seven weeks, and then the experimental lead time for us is six weeks. No specific requirement is needed. No sample is required. The validity of five years, and then the document needed is the FCC. If you don't have the FCC, you can go ahead to use your CE report and your test report that is required accompanied with the RF and the DOC and then the letter of authorization of course, because we have a local representative in this country. And now moving on to northern, north Sudan. North Sudan here is located in northern Africa with a population of 41.8 million. The country speaks English. And then the agency name is National Telecommunication Corporation, that is NTC. The website is www.ntc.gov.sd. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. The lead time is seven to eight weeks. That is the theoretical lead time and an experimental lead time for us is six weeks. No specific requirement needed, no sample required, validity of five years for the certificate. The document requirement is the FCC or the CE, whichever you have, you can go ahead and use it, accompanying with the test report and then the RF and then the DOC and then um, the letter of authorization that is also needed because obviously we have a local representative that is needed. We move on to Namibia. Namibia is positioned in the Southern Africa with a population of 2.448 million. Language spoken is English and the agency is called Namibian Communication Commission, that is the NCC. The website is www.ncc.org. Dot NA, that is for Namibia. You do not need a local representative. The experimented, uh, the theoretical lead time for Namibia is two to three weeks, but the experimental lead time for us is two weeks. And then no requirement, special requirement needed. No sample is needed. The validity for the certification for Namibia is permanent. The document required is the FCC, or you need the CE, whichever you have accompanying it with the test report the RF um, report, the document that you have, and then the letter of authorization. And uh, I just want to be precise. When we talk about documents here, um, that comes with the data sheet is also needed when you send the diagram document, document, document also that is also included in this. But then the most important document that is needed here to, for you to obtain type approval, the most important document, you have to have your FCC. If you don't have your FCC, you can use your CE report. Your test re report is needed. Your RF report is needed and the letter of authorization is needed. Those, without them, you cannot take 
or they will not issue you any letter, any type of approval letter. We're moving on to the next country, Niger. Niger is located in Western Africa with a population of 22.44 million. The language spoken is French. The agency name is Autorité de Régulation Multisectorial, that is ARM. The website is www.armnige.org. You need a local representative for this country, so in the local representative um, box, yes. Lead time, theoretical lead time is three or four weeks. That is it. No special requirements needed. No sample is needed. The validity for the certificate is five years. And the documents required is the ACC, the CE report, test report, the RF, the talk, and the letter of authorization. Why? Because, yes, we have a local representative needed. Moving on to Nigeria. Nigeria is located in Western Africa with a population of 195.9 million population. And the language spoken in Nigeria is English. The agency name is Nigerian Commis Commis Communication Commission, which is the NCC. And the website is www.ncc.gov.ng for Nigeria. Yes, you need a local representative for this country. That is needed. And lead time is seven to eight weeks. That is the theoretical lead time for this. And experimental lead time for us here in Nigeria is six weeks. No special requirements needed. Simple, yes. For um, equipment like iPhones, your iPhones, your PCs, your um, iPads, you do need a sample. And the sample is mandatory when it comes to your PCs when it comes to your phones or when it comes to your tablets, you need a sample. And then for the modules and any other equipment, no sample is required. And the validity for the Nigerian certification, the validity is permanent. The documents required is the FCC. If you don't have the FCC, you can use the CE. The test report, the RF, the token, the letter of authorization in Nigeria. Moving on to the Republic of Congo. So if you notice, we have two Congo. We have the Democratic Republic of Congo and we have the Republic of Congo. They're just neighbors. And what separates the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Republic of Congo is just the river that, that separates. And Republic of Congo is located in Central Africa with a population of 5.244 million population. This is also a French-speaking country, and the agency name is l'Agence de Régulation de Postes et Communication Électronique, which is ARPCE in short, and the website is www.arpce.dg. Local representative, yes, is required. The lead time for this is three to four weeks, and the experimented lead time for this for us is three weeks. And then, yes, sample is required. The validity of the certificate for the Republic of Congo is three years. That is the validity for the, the certificate. It's three years. And the documents required is the FCC. Or if you don't have the FCC, you can use your CE. And then you need the test report, the RF report, the doctor, and then the letter of authorization that is required for that. We're moving on to Rwanda. Rwanda is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 12.3 million. Rwanda speaks French and English. The agency name is Regulatory Agency of Public Utility Service of Rwanda, which is Rura in short. And the website is www.rura.gov.rw. Local representative, yes. Theoretical lead time, three to four weeks. Experimental lead time, three weeks. No. No special requirements needed for this country. Yes, you need a sample, and the conducted sample is needed. The validity for this country is five years, and the required document is the FCC or the CE if you have. Test report, RF, and the DOC, and then the letter of authorization that is needed for Rwanda. Moving on to Senegal. Senegal is located in Western Africa, and the population with a population of 15.85 million. 
the French is spoken in this country, French is spoken is in this country, and the agency name is Autorité de Régulation de Télécommunications in the Post, which is in short ARTP, and the website is www.artpsenegal.net, and the local representative is needed, yes, you do need one. The theoretical lead time for Senegal is seven to eight weeks, and the experimental lead time for us is six weeks. No sample is required. The validity of the certification is permanent. The documents that you need for, for in order to obtain the type approval, you need the FCC. If you don't have, you can use the CE. The test report is required. The RF is required. The doc is required. And the letter of authorization is required. Moving on to Seychelles. Seychelles is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 96,762 and French and English spoken in this country. The agency name is Ministry of Information Technology and Communication, which is in short MISD, that is in short, and the website is www.misd.gov. Www dot s c that is um the the website of it and then yes you need a local representative in this um uh, in this country and the the lead time is the theoretical lead time is five to six weeks the experimental lead time is five weeks for us no specific requirement needed no sample requirement needed the validity is five years for the certificate, the documents required is the FCC or the CE. Test report is required, the RF is required, the doc is required, a lot of authorization is required because you have a local representative, so you need that. Moving on to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is located in Western Africa with a population of 7.65 million. This country speaks English and the agency name is National Telecommunication Commission, which is in short NATCOM, and the website is www.natcomsl.com. Yes, a local representative is needed. Lead time, the theoretical lead time for us is three to four weeks, and then that's it. The requirement, no specific requirement is needed. No sample is needed for this country. The validity is five years. The document required is the FCC or the CE. And you need your test report, RF, the talk, and then the letter of authorization that is needed. Moving on to Somalia. Somalia is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 15.1 million. And the language spoken in Somalia is Somali. The agency name is Ministry of Post and Communication, MPC. The website is www.somalia.gov.info. So www.somalia.gov.info. And then the local representative is needed in this country. The lead time, that is the theoretical lead time, is five to six weeks. And then no sample is required. The validity for the certificate is permanent. The documents required is the SCC or the CE, the test report, um, the RF or the DOC, and the letter of authorization that is needed because uh, you do need a, a local representative of this. So um, that is for Somalia. That is for Somalia. Moving on to South Africa. Moving on to South Africa. South Africa is located in Southern Africa. And the population of South Africa is 57.78 million. This country speaks English. The agency name is ICASA. The local representative is needed for this country. Lead time is five to six weeks. No specific requirement that is needed. Um, no sample is needed. The validity of uh, this country is five years. The document required is the FCC or the CE report, the test report, the FR, the DOC or the letter of authorization because you need a, you have a local representative in this country. So you need a lot of authorization. Moving on to Swaziland. 
Swaziland is located is also located in the southern Africa with a population of 1.136 million. English is spoken in this country and the agency name is Iswatini Communication Commission is in short E S C C O M. Local representative is needed in this country. The lead time is three to four weeks. Um, no sample is required. The validity is 10 years. And then um, the document that is needed is the FCC. They see a report, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the letter of authorization that is needed um, for this country also. Moving on to Tanzania. Tanzania is located in Eastern Africa. The population is 56.32 million. English is spoken in Tanzania. The agency name is Tanzania Communication Regulatory Authority, which is in short TCRA. The website is www.tcra.go.tz. No local representative is needed because here you treat with the agency and um, you submit online in, in Tanzania. And um, the lead time is three to four weeks. That is the lead time. And what usually makes the lead time three to four weeks is the bank transaction when you finally make your payment for the for the for the type approval letter. But then our experimented uh, lead time is usually three weeks. Why? Because we don't make a uh, payment straight to the agency bank because it's a little bit. Uh, it takes some time. What we do, we have a local representative and we have a company there, so we just go. Uh, we send our our colleague or one of my colleagues that goes to the agency directly to make payments, which cuts down the lead time. That is why we have we I have said we have experimentally experimented lead time of three weeks, and no sample is needed. No sample is needed, and the validity is five years. And uh, for the documents required, you need the FCC or the CE, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the letter of authorization. Uh, sorry, the abbreviation of DOC. DOC means declaration of conformity. That is DOC. That's why we call it so. So it's declaration of conformity. That is what is required for Tanzania. We move on to Chad. Chad is located in Central Africa, and the population for Chad is 15 point. 48 million. The country speaks French. The agency name is Autorité de Régulation des de Communications Électroniques et des Postes, that is in short, ARCEP. And the website, and the website of, uh, of, of, of CHARD is www.arcep.td. Yes, the local representative is required for this country. And then the theoretical lead time for this country is three to four weeks. Experimental lead time for us is three weeks. No specific requirement needed for this country. Yes, a sample is required for this country. And please note that the sample is not returned when it arrives at the agency. And the validity for this country is five years for this country. And the documents that is needed, you need the FCC, you need the CE, you need the test report, the RF report the declaration of conformity, which is the DOC, and then the letter of authorization because you have a um, local representative that is needed in this country. Moving on to Togo. When you move to Togo, Togo is located in the western of Africa with a population of 7.889 million. And then the country speaks French. The agency name is Autorité de Réglementation, the Secteur de Poste et de Télécommunication which is in short, A-R-I-T and P. And then the website is www.artp.go. Yes, you need a local representative in Togo, and the theoretical lead time is three to four weeks, and the experimental lead time for us is exactly three weeks. No specific requirement is needed. Yes, you need a sample, and the sample is not returned. The validity for Togo is three years. And then the documents required is FCC or the, the CE report, the test report, the, R, the RF report, and the declaration of conformity, the letter of authorization, yes, is needed because we have a local representative that is needed in this country. Moving on to Tunisia. 
Tunisia is located in northern Africa with a population of 11.57 million, and this country is an Arabic speaking country. The agency name is Instance Nationale de Telecommunication de Tunisie, which is INTT, and the website is INTT.TN. Yes, you need a local representative in this country. The, the theoretical lead time for this country is three to four weeks. No specific requirements needed. Simple, yes, you need it. And then the validity, the validity for the certification is five years. And the document required is the FCC or the CE, the test report, the RF, the declaration of conformity, and the letter of authorization that is required for this country. We move on to Uganda, Uganda. Uganda is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 42.72 million. The country spoken in this country is English. The agency name is Uganda Communication Commission, which is UCC in short, and the website is www.ucc.co.ug. Yes, you need a local representative in this country. The theoretical lead time for this country is four to five weeks, and then the experimental lead time for us is four weeks. And then no sample is required for this um, country. The validity of the certificate is five years. The document that is required is the FCC, the CE, the test report is required, the RF is required, the declaration of conformity is required, and the letter of authorization is required because we have a local representative in this country. We move on to Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is located in Western Africa. The population is 25.7 million. The language spoken is French. The agency name is Autorité de Régulation de la Poste et de Télécommunication, also known also as TIC, the Côte de Ivoire, which is ARTC. And the website is www.artci.ci. You need a local representative in this country. The theoretical lead time is three to four weeks. The experimental lead time for us is four weeks, so three to four weeks we maintain it that way. No sample is needed. The validity of the certification is 10 years. And then the documents required is the FCC, the CE report. If you have either way, you can use which one, you, whichever you have. The test report, the RF, the declaration of conformity, the letter of authorization, and um, the other information. Moving on to Zambia. Zambia is located in Eastern Africa with a population of 17.35 million. Language spoken in Zambia is English. The agency name is Communication Authority of Zambia, which is ZICTA. The website is www.caz.cm. Yes, you need a local representative in um, Zambia. The, the theoretical lead time is three to four weeks, and the experimental lead time is three weeks for us because we also have another branch in Zambia. And the required, you don't need a specific, no specific requirements needed. No sample is needed. The validity for Zambia is five years. And the documents required is the FCC, the CE report, the test report, the RF, the DOC, and the letter of authorization that is needed in this country. Moving on to our last country, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is positioned in Southern Africa with a population of 14.44 million. The country speaks English. The agency name is Post Postal and Telecommunication Regulation Authority, which is in short known as Portraz. The website is www.portraz.gov. You don't need a local representative, so you treat directly with the agency. The agency, um, the lead time for this, the theoretical lead time for Zimbabwe, is three to four weeks. You do not need a sample. The validity of the certification is 10 years. And then the document requirement that you need is the FCC or the CE report, the test report, the RF, the DOC, 
and the letter of authorization that is uh, needed for Zimbabwe. So please note that every country whereby you treat with the agency directly, you keep you maintain the same lead time. There is the theoretical lead time in the country that you treat directly with the agency. The, the lead time is the same according to our experiments, and sometimes it can go uh, beyond depending on the speed of the agency. And usually, what makes it um, what makes it long is most agency and all agencies you just have to do bank transfer. So when you do a bank transfer, we all know that there there are some days it takes some days to reach the the agency. So the the agency only releases the certificate when you make the funds like when they see the funds in their account. So that's why in specific countries where they do not need a local representative like Zimbabwe. We just find someone as our local representative to always help us with the money in order to speed up our 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 lead time to make sure that we do not go beyond the lead time that we would have given to our clients. Uh, can we move on, please? So here, uh, I've done the presentation for all the countries that require um, type approval, and I've given the requirements. So what does cow do? This is what cows do. This is our practice. So what we do is we provide all necessary information required for the type of approval certification freely. Freely. That is what we do. We provide it freely. That is what um, we do. We give information freely. So when we have requests, do not worry on sending us, even if you send us one request at a time, we are happy and more than happy to provide and give you the, the basic information that you do, and we do it freely. And what else we do? We only accept payment from the client after delivering the type of approval certification. Why we do this is sometimes, you know, our work is on uh, online, so in order to maintain trust, we, we pre-finance the, the, the project for our clients. So we pay with our own funds until we get the letter, of the, the certificate. That is when we send to our client, and when we send in the letter, that's when we also send our invoice, and the payment is made after. So um, that is what we do. This, in this way, we show our clients that money comes after, but what we want is clients to satisfy our clients, to build a trust and a bond with our clients. And then uh, what we what next we do is uh, for all our our clients we require our clients DHL or FedEx accounts to send the original certificate after the scanned copy is sent because usually when we get the certificate we scan and send it via email but then after that follow up via DHL and FedEx accounts to send the original certification to our to our clients for for them to keep the records. Um, now, this is what makes us different from our, our, our other, other competitors. We have three types of payment strategy. We have the payment by subscription, we have the payment via package, and then we have detailed mode of quotation. So I think I'm going to try and explain a little bit on this. Uh, payment via subscription is um, whereby you order, whereby we give you a specific quotation or a specific price. Like, which is, a re uh, we actually reduce the price. For example, if the agency is taxing charges about 1,500 here in this, and we know that in this certain country, we, you have a local representative. What we do is, going on the representative in the subscription, what we do is, we cut down our charge, because basically we can't move the, the agency fee, we can't move the local representative fee, so what we do is we cut down our charge. We cut down our, our fee to make it affordable for the client, so that's why we say payment by subscription. And payment via package. We give you a package. For example, if you are going to order five countries, the package comes only in five countries and more. So when you're ordering something that comes in a package of five countries, we make sure also you have like a reduced price. For example, if each of the country that you are supposed to order, example, is about 1,000, 1,000, that's like 5,000. Instead of you paying 5,000 in that whole package, we give you also a reduction in the whole 5,000 package. And then we have a detailed mode of quotation. This detailed mode of quotation is just to show clarity on how we work, how how is it, 
how how is this quotation like in the quotation we show you the agency price that is the agency fee we show you the local representative fee if in that country the local representative is required and then we show you our price and in the detailed mode of quotation is just to show transparency with us and our clients to just make it clear please can we move on okay so the brief summary for this, um, for my presentation, all above we have provided all the detailed information you needed for this country. And everyone will get their copy, their corrected copy after this presentation. And um, in future, we'll also be glad if given, a, uh, uh, if given uh, an opportunity to present the other continents that we cover, because we only do not cover the Af Africa. We also have extended our covering zone. So we cover Middle East uh, Af countries, and also we do that. So in future, if we're given opportunity, we would also like to present that in future. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send us via our email or contact us directly on the numbers provided below the or our Skype, as we mentioned above, we deliver our information freely, and that is like um, 24 hours in seven weeks. Why? Because even if we're not in the office, we work from home. So we are always um, active in response because we also have our emails coming in our phone, and whenever we see, we just respond. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so here are the contacts. If you have any inquiries to send, you can send to my email address and it calls um, barafrica.com or you can contact me via Skype, whichever way is easier and faster, or you can contact me via my telephone and this is the number and this number also has WhatsApp. So you can contact me if you need any uh, information or any inquiries, any questions, anything you need, as we said, we provide it freely. So you can contact us. And for more information about uh, complete approval wireless, you can visit our website that is um, right there. So you have the information where you um, can contact us uh, on. Let's move on. That's the brief um, presentation that I uh, prepared to um, share with you. And thank you so much to everybody for your attention. And we do apologize for this small technical uh, problem. Everyone will get the right copy soon after this. And thank you so much for, for your attention. Thank you so much for inviting me. And thank you. Well, thank you, Anne-Marie. I did have one question, if you have time. I know there's a difference in the time zone. But if you have time to answer one question, I'll go ahead and read that, if you like. Okay, sure. Let me let me hear the question. All right. So that question is, is it foreseen the formation of economic unions between some of the African countries that allows sharing the same certification for a block of countries? Please come again with the question. Sure. I will read that again. Is it foreseen the formation of economic unions between some of the African countries that allows sharing the same certification for a block of countries? Well, in some countries, yes, and in some countries, no. Okay, got it. Um, that's all. I, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. If you want, if you want, further, furthermore, I can send you an email and make you a list of the countries that agree to that, and then the other countries that do not agree to that. Okay. Well, then when you do that, I'll then send out everything at one time. That'd be great. All okay. right. And that is all the questions I see for now. And Marie, I just want to thank you so much for being able to move on with the slides. You did a great job that I actually heard you say that um, you were willing to do other presentations. So I'll talk to you offline about that, but definitely interested in working with you when it comes to the Middle East and other continents. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for this presentation. Um, so again, uh, thanks goes to Anne-Marie for taking time out to enlighten us about African compliance. As she stated a couple of times, you definitely will go ahead and get the uh, recorded presentation and the corrected presentation slides. I usually send that about one to two business days after the live event. So that should be coming probably early uh, next week, the latest. Our next upcoming webinar is covering North America post-market civilians introduction, which is on November 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure you visit our website to register for this webinar if you're interested. 
On behalf of the Washington Labs Academy, I would like to thank you all for attending. I'm going to go ahead and now end this event. Please enjoy the rest of your day, and of course, most importantly, be safe. Thanks again, and thank you, Anne-Marie. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Good evening to you.